Hey there, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy, and I am back with another wine review, and you can already see what I'm going to be talking about today. So I reviewed these wines back in 2022, earlier, I think, earlier 2022, but for those who are new, these are wines, and I like to call it everyday drinking wines. Wines that you can find wherever you shop for wine, liquor store, grocery store, and maybe even some wine shops. I give these wines a taste and give you my opinion, what I think about these wines. But I encourage you to taste and let your palate be your guide. So, I utilize my infamous thumb rating system to rate these wines. Very simple, no complex numbers, no complex system, just taste and rate. Thumbs up means I recommend this wine. It's a pretty solid wine. Can't go wrong with it. Uh, give it a try. Three quarters. You know, I had this wine at a party and I enjoyed it and I wanted to share it with my friends. It's very simple, you know. Uh, halfway, who? something about that wine was a little off. It was off for my palate. I'll tell you what that was. But it doesn't mean it's a bad wine. It just didn't work for me. You give it a taste. Let us all know what you think. Thumbs down. That's always the easy one. Get the wine out of here. I don't recommend it, but again, it's my palate. It didn't work for my palate. So, today's show, you can already see it's Pure Bright by Yellowtail. So, Yellowtail, again, I rehash. Yellowtail came in in the early 2000s, late 90s, just kind of took over the market in that, that low price uh, uh, mark for our wines. You know, $6.99, $7.99, now $9.99, you know, for their wines. But there's just a lot of them were just, just decent everyday simple drinking wines coming out of Australia. Well now in 2020, uh, Yellowtail, 2021 I should say, Yellowtail decided to come out with a low alcohol version, low calorie version and I guess maybe it was in response to Cupcake. You know it seems to be the trend now that you'll find a lot of different wineries are making low alcohol wines dry but low alcohol wines, low calorie wines, low sugar wines you know, just for the consumer who want to be conscious about, you know, what they're drinking. Me, I'm not thinking about calories when I'm drinking a wine, <laughs> but some people are. And so they're, they're responding to that market and creating wines for them, just like the vegan wine market, just like, you know, the non-alcohol market or just like the, the pure or natural wine market. You know, so there's wines out there and those wines are being sold in the stores. And I want to review some of those and give you my opinion. Let's guide you through this whole wine maze, right? So now, Pure Bright, we're going to be doing the Pinot Grigio. And this is going to be a 2022 coming in at 8 0.5% alcohol, and we're going to be doing this Sauvignon Blanc uh, coming in uh, to vintage 2021, coming in also at eight and a half percent alcohol. And I believe I did the 2020 vintage before, so I'm curious to see what happens, what's going to change. Now I don't go back and watch my videos of a previous review when I'm doing a current review. I review it, I review the current wines first or current vintage first, then I go back and look. But I always put a a link inside of the video and in the comments so that uh, you can go and check it out yourself. So again, uh, the pure bright wines are, you know, profess to be vegan, gluten free, low alcohol, uh, low carbs. You know, uh, what was that? I think it's like 80 car, 80 calories, 80 calories, a low calories, so 80 calories. Uh, per five ounce pour, but I never pour a five ounce glass of wine. Some of you do. So there you go, 80 calories. So we'll give that a pour. This is going to be the Pinot Grigio again. And again, I said I had uh, reviewed the 2020 before, and now we're on 2022 here. And 2020, 20, 20, that's a lot of 20s. 2021 on the Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> All right. Now, for the Yellowtail wines that are coming out of uh, any great source from the South Central or Southeastern Australia. All right, get a look at that color. Now, immediately you can see a difference. I hope you can see in the video. The Sauvignon Blanc here is a little more yellow than the Pinot Grigio, which is a lot more clear. Okay, it has subtle uh, yellow hues to it, but very, very subtle. But the Sauvignon Blanc, you know, sunshine coming through the glass, right? Okay. Now for the nose. Oh wow, apple citrus on the Pinot Grigio. Don't need to say much about that. Apple citrus. Mmm, is what you're getting there. Wow, 
That's really coming through. And now the Sauvignon Blanc. Woo! Now, there was a citrus nose, but it wasn't grapefruit first. Grapefruit came in, but let me get this again here. Almost like a lemon lime and with uh, some grapefruit added in. Not grapefruit added into the wine, but on the nose. <laughs> Clarify. All right. Wow. Great nose. But those who follow me know that I always taste the Sauvignon Blanc second because it's such a powerful, robust uh, grape when wines are made from it that it would just kill everything else, especially with the acidity. But I'm going to stick to the plan. I'm going to go with the Pinot Grigio first from Yellowtail. Pure bright. Hmm. Okay. That was the red. The acidity is nice. Still get that crisp apple citrus on the taste. More like Granny Smith apple on the taste. Like Granny Smith with a little bit of uh, honey crisp. Uh, coming here on the Pinot Grigio. Nice finish. Very nice finish. A little tangy though. A little tangy, but crisp. You know, fruits there, but pretty tangy. Now going into, wow, that flavor. Mmm. It's just hanging around. You know, very light though. Very light, very easy to drink. You know, which is, but in this case, pure bright light wine. It's a Pinot Grigio, so Pinot Grigio is going to have some weight to it, some depth to the fruit. This is very light, All right? Well, for the uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Let me see, I, I just saw some notes on here. Oh, okay. All right. So, pure bright Pinot Grigio, 80 calories, 1.5 carbs. All right, I, I just happened to glance over and I saw that, right? And do a comparison to this in their regular Pinot Grigio, which is 107, 107 calories, 1.5 carbs, you know, poor glass, right? Now let's go to Sauvignon Blanc. Let's see if it's going to kill it if I go back. Okay. Good acidity that's there. Very, very tangy on the back. You know, it seems, to me it seems, well, that was just acidity. Let's go back in here. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rinse and review the Pinot Grigio first, and then go into the Sauvignon Blanc. Because going back to it, oh yeah. It completely changed the Pinot Grigio. Completely changed it. All right. So now, getting back to it, let's give myself a good rinse. Hmm. All right. Let's see if this is doing. All right. So for the Pinot Grigio, I like the fruit. It's light. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Easy to drink, very crisp, clean tasting. I'm gonna go three quarters on that. I mean, I, th I think it's pretty good, you know, for everyday drinking. You want something too robust? I mean, if you want to just go for fantastic Pinot Grigios, by all means. We just want to pick up something. I believe this is at uh, uh, six ninety nine to nine ninety nine in the store. You want to pick up something easy to drink on a hot day? That'd be the one. Pinot Grigio, three quarters. Now for the Sauvignon Blanc. Okay, a little rinse. Okay, now for me, with the Sauvignon Blanc, it's very, very tangy on the finish. Okay, it's almost like too intense, too tangy for my palate. So it's kind of like, to me, it's almost like it's out of balance, you know, with the, with the, the, the citrus or with the acidity or the tanginess there. You know, like uh, maybe underripe a little bit. 
But again, if you're talking about a wine with low sugar added to it, you know, uh, I believe it's probably like 1% or less than 1% of sugar uh, in here. So if you're talking about a wine where you, you're eliminating that sugar to balance out some of the acidity, this is what you're going to get. So it would be good to have this next to a Sauvignon Blanc that has a little bit more residual sugar, and you can get that difference. It'd be a good lesson. So for what it is, a wine that's, that's very low in sugar, probably less than 1%, It is very tangy, too tangy for me, for my palate. So I, want, I don't want to cancel it out. I'm going to go in between three quarters and halfway, so right in the middle. Uh, give it a try and let me know, let the rest of us know what you think. I just think it's just a little bit too tangy, you know, need just a little bit of residual sugar to balance it out, but it's true to what it is, all right? So three quarters on the Pinot Grigio, I think it'd be a good summer drinking wine. And in between halfway and three quarters on the Sauvignon Blanc. So there you have it. Give it a try. New vintage. And let the rest of us know what you think. And I'm going to see you next time when I review some wines on this Wine Wednesday. And getting ready for the summer. Let your palate be the guy with selecting your wine. As always, say, ciao.